Right, once again, guys, we are proceeding with our lesson number four of Microsoft Excel or Spreadsheet for Computer Practice N4. I hope you still remember that on our previous lesson number three, our focus was on uh, the display of formulas and uh, you, we did manage to cover the, the issue of printing uh, that particular formulas. I hope you, you also remember that whenever you print your spreadsheet, your spreadsheet must always fit on a single page. The, this issue of overlapping to the next page, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Let's proceed. So, this is the spreadsheet uh, that we, we, we were working upon. I hope you still remember that it is still displayed as formulas. So, if you want to remove the formulas, the procedure is the same. You go to formulas, then you click again on, on show formulas. Then you can see that our spreadsheet is no longer on, on formulas again. Right, you can ratify uh, the display by adjusting our columns. Simple as you can see. Right, in this lesson uh, number four, we are going to cover the chart, which is also referred to it as graph. I hope you know very well that we, we have got different charts or different graphs and to present your information in a graph, it's a very good and a, a, a professional way of presenting information. The graph is like a summary because it's easy to understand something on a graph. So if we start with our first graph, it's going to be a column graph. Right, right. In this column graph, you, you will be told uh, which content of your spreadsheet that you need to use in order to create that particular graph. Right here, they've said we need to create a column graph that is going to compare the number of students wrote and those who passed. So this is how we are going to do it. Number of students wrote and passed. So this is our selection. Thereafter, you go to insert. After insert, I've said we are creating the column, column graph. Remember, we've got column graphs, bar graphs, line graphs, a, a number of graphs that we can work upon, but for now, let's make use of column, column graph. Right, I'm choosing the first one. The graph is inserted, as you can see. Please take note, you can't simply print this. There's a lot of things that you need to do, but it will be based on your question paper. Right, the next thing here, we need to insert the title of this graph, the so-called chart title. For an example, you simply click here, they've said, and remove this, and the chart title will be stated on the question paper of your assessment. For an example, results analysis. Sometimes they can say, right on your chat title, you, you also insert your examination number. Right. We proceed. You are also required to display some legends on, 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 on your graph. What legends are? Ah, have a look here. If you click in this, you can see everything that 
that appears on your graph right now. The legends are there. Let me check. These are, are, are the legends, but they appear on the bottom part of, of, of your graph. Sometimes they might say this, these legends must be on the left or on the right. Let's say you want to change them to the right uh, according to the instructions from the question paper. You simply click next to the legends. As you can see, bottom is selected. So we need them to appear on the right. You choose right. Then you can see these legends are here right now. Right. Moving on. Please be very careful. If the legends are supposed to appear on the right hand side only to find that you 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 ignore that instruction remember you are losing max if your legends appear on the bottom part instead of the of right you are losing max right right apart from legends there is more take for an example we've got something called data labels right here we've got data labels if data labels are required, center, inside end, inside base, outside end, and so on. It depends on the question paper. If they are required, you click, meaning you, you, you insert them. Insert these data labels if they are not required. You only insert them if they are required. Well, the, the issue of x-axis and y-axis is also important. Have a look here. There is primary horizontal and primary vertical. Right? Axis tiger. There is primary horizontal. This primary vertical right here horizontal these are these are campuses and right here these are students Right, this is the graph. It's a chart, it's a graph or a chart, it is the column one. As I've indicated, you might be tested on column graphs, bar graphs, pie graphs, line graphs, and so on. So it depends on, on the question paper. Right, that is all in connection with the creation of a column graph. That is what I wanted to cover in connection with, with lesson number four. When you print your graph, you just click on it. Then you go to print. Make sure that only the graph appears. Please take note. The issue of header or footer is still important even if you are working on a spreadsheet. As, as we have covered this, uh, in Microsoft Word, we insisted on the fact that everything that you print, each and every page that you print must have the header or, or, or a footer. So same thing applies in the spreadsheet. You, you, you can see there is an examination number on, on my chat target pass, but I can also insert the header if I want to. So how to do that? In this uh, process of printing, you can simply go to page setup, choose header, Tap up the custom header, these left, center, and right. Let's say uh, right here it's an examination number. Center, I'm making an example, it's PC number. Right, it's question number. Let's say this is question four. D, if it's question for D. Right, before I can click OK, have a look here, right? This is OK. If I'm clicking this OK, have a look what is going to happen. 
uh, right on top of your of your graph as you can see the header is inserted then we can print well that is all again in connection with uh, the column graph we can proceed on our next lessons uh, with different types of graphs thank you